Okay, I'm going to make a quick video. Um, spoiler alert, I think Alina is actually going to do a Technique Tuesday on this later and it will be a nice video that has um, really clear instructions and nice captions and everything. Um, but I just wanted to throw something together real quick to point out a couple things that I see a lot that I think will be helpful until we can get like a full like Technique Tuesday about it. And it's about seat making. Um, a lot of people watch the seat making video and they're like, I'm totally doing that. And then there's a couple things that they're either not doing or they're doing extra things they're doing that I think would help um, to point out. So uh, one thing that I first want to do before I throw my fake baby on my back is um, if you're watching this, I want you to take your hand and put it behind you and reach as high on your back as you can reach and make a note of how high that is. Like stand up super straight and just get, get your arm up there and it's like, I'm fairly flexible. I can get up above my shoulder blades. Like that's respectable. Okay. Now you've made a mental note of how high that was. Okay. Now I want you to bend over at about 45 degrees and then let me know how high you can reach. Like again, I'm still pretty flexible. I can reach the bottom of my shoulder blades, but I can't reach nearly as high and it, I have to strain a lot more to do it. I stand up straight. I can reach higher. I bend over and my hand just slides down. So bookmark that thought. And I'm going to get my fake baby on my back with a Santa toss that I never use, so it's going to look super clumsy. But it just seemed more appropriate than just heaving a little newborn sized doll on my back. Hold on to the baby while I get some top rails situated. Okay, so in general, the way we recommend, we tend to recommend making a seat is by pulling the width down, which is hard to do when it's bunched up on a little tiny baby. And once you pull the width down, don't let go of that. Because if you pull it down and then you let go, a lot of times it'll just spring right back up. And then everything you did was pointless. So you want all that width. And newsflash. If I'm holding just the tippy of the edges, then when I pull this down, it'll all come down. If I start over, if I grab the top like four inches of the wrap and I have that pinned under my chin or in my teeth, I am never going to be able to pull that down. No matter how hard I pull down, that's going to stay bunched. So just make sure you're holding the very edges. And with a little baby, sometimes you can't really tuck it up that high. And that's where the, the method comes in for a seatless rock. And you don't have to end up seatless. You can use this method to end up with a traditional seat. Where basically, what you're gonna do is hold baby's knees in position and tighten the bottom rail around their knees. And what I see a lot of people do, this is an, another thing, people think they're doing the right thing but what they're actually doing is they're holding baby's bum. And they're like, as long as I hold baby's bum, then when I tighten the, the bottom rail, and not trap, then if I tighten the bottom rail, I should create a seat. But then they tighten the bottom rail, and a lot of times, my demo doll is being very compliant, um, but a lot of times they tighten that bottom rail, and baby, you know, wiggles a little bit, and they, pop the seat and they get really confused. 
as to why their seat's not working. But if you hold, use your hand, you would have the top rails pinned during this. I'm sorry, I can't be consistent about that while I'm talking. This is why I'm not a good educator. Um, if you use your hand to hold their bum and use a finger to both hold the knee up into that M position and also hold that edge of the wrap just kind of tucked into the knee while you tighten. You can even do a little one-handed tighten thing here. Sorry, I'm kind of slow at that. And then you get that nice seat on that side. And this is another thing. People like tightening with one hand and holding baby with the same hand. You have to switch sides. So when I switch sides, I have to switch so that I'm holding baby's bum and then holding baby's other knee up. I'll see people do it really, really well on the first leg. And then they do something really awkward where they try to like hold baby's knee and then tighten across their body. Don't do that. <laughs> Just don't. You're making your life difficult. So, sorry I'm losing my newborn's head into the wrap. Don't do that. Either. Can you tell I've never wrapped a newborn? <laughs> okay, there we go. Nice tight top rail. Holding their leg up, supporting their bum so they feel secure. And here's where we go back to that first lesson. If I stand up straight, I can reach baby's bum. If I bend over, I can't. And the other thing, I've mentioned this a couple times in the group recently, um, it is almost universal, especially with younger babies like nine months and below, if they are upright, they tend to feel pretty secure, especially if they're upright, snuggled against your body, and they're basically sitting on your hand. They feel pretty secure. And they'll just kind of sit there and let you, you know, lift their knee up and tighten on the second side. But it is almost universal with babies. As soon as you bend over, and you probably don't even realize you're doing it, take a video of yourself and watch. See how vertical you are. If you bend over, they start to feel like they're, it's almost like tummy time. They feel like they're supposed to be on their tummy, but they're super unstable because you're not a flat surface and you're moving and they're moving and their automatic reaction with almost all babies is gonna be two things. One, they're gonna push up off you if they're strong enough and arch their back away from you trying to get themselves upright um, which is what a lot of babies will do during tummy time as well, you know, getting ready to crawl and stuff. But the other thing they're going to do is they're going to take their legs and they're going to kick them straight down. And you're going to think that you have the worst wiggler baby in the world, a leg straightener and a leaner, and they're really not. They're a good baby. They're just doing what babies do on an unstable surface. So even if you don't want to post a video, which you should, it's very helpful. Um, I sit here and chatter on videos all day and I'm sitting here about to drop a baby. Um, luckily I pretend one. Um, but even if you won't post a video, take a video of yourself. Prop your phone up somewhere, record and watch it back and make a note of um, when do I stand up straight? Am I standing up straight as soon as I get those top rails pinned and I have a hand under baby's bum and I start making the seat? Or am I trying to wait until I've got a secure seat before I stand up? Because it's counterintuitive. If you wait until you have a secure seat before you stand up straight, you'll never get that secure seat because baby won't let you. Unless you have just the sweetest, most compliant baby in the world, which almost none of us do. I'm sure they're all wonderful, but they're just, they're gonna do it. I mean, Anya, if any of you are used to watching me wrap Anya, you know she's like a giant demo doll. She's super compliant. She just sits there with her legs held in position for me and lets me wrap around her. But if I start to slack off and I start to lean over, she's almost three and she still has that reaction of she wants to sit up and lean away from me. 
And I could take that as, oh, my child is a leaner, but it's not. It's just a reaction she's having to what I'm doing. So if I stand up straight, she straightens right back up and she hugs in back towards me. So those are just a couple things that I see a lot of people do that I thought would be helpful. Um, again, Alina will do a much better video one day and we'll show more details and be more helpful and less rambly. But again, stand up straight. When you're holding baby's bum, make sure you're holding their knees up in their end position. So you're wrapping around baby in the correct position. You're not just trying to use the bottom rail to pull their knees up into position. So hand under the bum, fingers holding the knees up. Stand up straight. And that tip at the beginning, middle, second tip maybe. Um, when you're pulling the width down, make sure that you are only holding the top rails in the front, the very edges. Because if you're holding several inches of wrap up front where it's pinned, that several inches is going to be bunched by baby's neck and it's going to mess up your seat. You're going to run out of width and stuff like that.